After finished print head install, we turn on the printer and then connect the network interface. Don't forget insert the dongle in computer. Later. Okay, now we should print the printing head and then move the printing head to the correct position. About 3 millimeters. Well, first, 1 centimeter to that. Go to the software, click test, load head data image. And then the printer stator is ready. Ready to proceed. Turn on the conveyor belt. Adjust to the speed. Place the paper on the flatbed. This is the printhead stator test. As we can see, there are still some nozzle is missing. It means there is a little bit bubbles or air inside the printhead. We should just print it for several times to eliminate the bubbles. Click open to open a new graphic to upload a new graphic in the software. Uploading the image. And then choose the image. Click print. Start sending data. It's ready. Turn on the conveyor belt. Place the paper on the flatbed. Load the image to print. Okay, now as we can see, it's not in one line for the position. So we should adjust here by printhead calibration. This is X axis. And here is Y axis. This is in one group. And this is in second group. Group one. Group two. Now we go to the software. Like this. This is group one group. As we can see from the nozzle check. You can see each group, whether it's aligned or not. Now we go to the software to calibrate the line. Now we go to the software parameter set. As we can see, first we do the color adjust. And we can find here for group one, group two, group three which is here group one, group two, and group three, which is only adjust the all group or even group, only one. For example, the group one here. The gap is large. Now, 
we should add the number, for example, one millimeter to make it in one line. The gap is larger, the number to add is larger. You can measure here the gap. Here is one millimeter. So we should add one millimeter in the odd group to make it become six. And click all group same. Choose all group. Because we change only group one is an all group. All groups same and all the odd groups, one, three, five, seven, and more, it will be the same all group. Click and click all group same again. Now all the all groups is changing to six. Okay, click save. Now check the parameter again. Okay, all the group is six. Set and save. Now we print the image again. Print again the same image. Choose the image, click print. And place the paper on the flat back. Okay, we compare the image as before. Now it's in one line. <coughs> okay, next we are going to adjust the overlap of the print head. As we can see, there is line in the image. So we go to the software and then choose test to see the path overlap image first. Place one paper on the flat pad. As you can see, the number where the two lines connect per most perfect it's about 23. There is two lines. Find the number where two lines overlap the most perfect. 23. Okay, now we go to software and to adjust it. Open the parameter set. Go to head install. And then input 23 for all. If we, are, we have one print head, then 1 to 10 is for print head 1. If we have two print head in the machine, there will be more. From 11 to 12 is for second print head. And now we will adjust, only adjust this line. Okay, finish adjust. Save. And now choose the previous picture print 
Place paper on the flat back. Turn on the conveyor. Place paper on the flat back. To see the printing. Compare the image with before. The line. There is no more line again. So now we calibrate both the print head and also the vertical and horizontal well. Thank you. Nice.